Hi! Do you like reading? Me too! My name's Rachel and this is my reading room. Come on in! Achoo! Oh, excuse me, I have a cold today. That reminds me of our story. In today's story, Jeanette Claus Saves Christmas, by Douglas Reese and illustrated by Oliver Latyik, Santa has a cold. Even Santa can get sick. But Jeanette Claus was able to save the day. Come on, let's go read about it. Jeanette Claus Saves Christmas by Doug Reese and illustrated by Oliver Latyik. Santa Claus was sick. He sneezed and coughed, he groaned and moaned, he sniffled and he blew. This is the worst cold I have had in a hundred years, he said. And I have to deliver presents tonight. His daughter Jeanette brought him another cup of herbal tea. Jumping jingle bells, there's no way I'm letting you take the sleigh out tonight, she said. I'll do it. You don't know what you're talking about, said Santa. Those reindeer are tricky. They hate hauling me around on Christmas Eve. Dasher's the worst. If he had his way, no one would get any presents. If I can handle you, I can handle eight tiny reindeer, Jeanette said. I'm not going to let you do it, Santa said. It's my job. Then he sneezed. He sneezed again. He exploded in sneezes. You're right, he groaned. I can't make it. You'll have to go. The job's easy, really, Santa said. Just remember two things. Always say on Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. Otherwise, the reindeer can't fly. And be careful to keep their harness tight. If they get loose, you're stranded. So Jeanette went out to the barn and loaded the sleigh. Then she took down the harness and laid it out. All right, you guys, Jeanette said to the reindeer. Time to rock and roll. You're not Santa, Dasher said. You're not Santa, Dancer agreed. You're not Santa and we don't have to go out, said Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Criminy Christmas crackers, Jeanette said. Don't give me a hard time. We've got work to do. One by one, she dragged the reindeer over to the harness and buckled them in. Merry Christmas, here we come, she shouted. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Up, up they rose. The stars came closer and closer. The air grew colder and colder. When the reindeer spiraled down to land on the nearest roof, Jeanette jumped out of the sleigh, slid down the chimney with a sack of presents, and popped up again in a minute. Nothing to it, she said. We'll have this job done in no time. On through the night she sped, calling to the reindeer and dropping through the chimneys. Around the world, she and the reindeer flew. Everything was going exactly right. We may get done early if we do. It's extra oats for all hands. The reindeer didn't answer. Then, as they were setting down on the top of a building, the pin that connected the harness to the sleigh fell out. Suffering sugar plums, Jeanette cried as the sleigh hit the roof with a bump. Dash away, dash away, dash away all, cried Dasher and the eight reindeer flew away with their harness bells jingling. Come back here, you stupid hat racks, Jeanette shouted. But the reindeer didn't even look back. The sleigh was still more than half full of presents. This was terrible. A world full of people were waiting for her sleigh. She paced up and down under the cold sky, trying to think of an idea, but nothing came to her. Down below in the alley, she heard a noise. A dog was down there. He looked sad and hungry. Poor pooch, Jeanette said, cold and starving on Christmas Eve. She slid down the drain pipe and went over to him. She scratched him behind the ears. 
Have you got a name? Guess you can call me Rover. Roving's about all I do. There was a soft little meow behind, behind them. Come on over here, Jeanette said, and picked up a small black cat. I'm Caesar, the cat said. It started to purr. Now the shadows were full of cats and dogs. I'm Blaster, said a big orange tomcat. I'm Blackjack, said a small yellow dog. I'm Squeaky, said a cat with long dark fur. I'm Weezer, said a dog with a long snout. I'm Grover, said a cat with gray spots. I'm Tiger, said a brindle hound. Jeanette petted them all. Suffering snowball, she said. This is a bad Christmas Eve for all of us. Then Jeanette had an idea, a good idea, a great idea. Jeanette poked around until she found some old clothesline. She made a lasso of it and threw it around the chimney of a building. She was back in a minute with the empty sack. Everyone hop in, she said. Even for Jeanette, it was hard to climb back up to the roof with a sack full of cats and dogs, but she made it. She harnessed the dogs and cats to the sleigh with the clothesline. I'm back in business, she cried. On Blaster, on Blackjack, on Weezer and Grover, on Tiger, on Squeaky, on Caesar and Rover. Up rose the sleigh, off it flew to every rooftop that waited for it until the sun began to catch up to it and Jeanette was done. Then back they all flew to the North Pole. The reindeer came trotting out of the barn at the sound of the barks and meows coming down from the sky. They stared as the sleigh landed gently in the front yard. Santa Claus tore open the window and threw up the sash. He smiled at what he saw. Hey everybody, meet Santa's new team, Jeanette said. She untied the dogs and cats and opened the front door. Blaster and Blackjack, Weezer and Grover, Tiger and Squeaky, Caesar and Rover all bounded in past the reindeer. Jeanette started the fire. She put out milk and meat for everyone. This is a nice place, place you've got here, said Caesar, licking his whiskers. Jeanette smiled. Welcome home, she said, and Merry Christmas. Jeanette was determined to make Christmas special for everyone, even when her reindeer flew away. The cats and dogs sure did help Jeanette save Christmas. Well, if you liked that story, be sure to like and follow along with Read Along with Rachel. See you next time. Bye!